What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we just finished our 24 hour live stream and I am just beat. But throughout the stream, I got a lot of questions about what are your settings war inside of Diablo 3 and how does your game look so good. So today I'm going to go over with, over all my settings for you guys and just show you exactly how I have it. Maybe these settings will help you out. Maybe they won't. Now, again, I do want to say these are just my settings and they're just going to be what I personally like. They're not necessarily designed to boost your FPS, you know, to 300 through the roof that's not how this game is designed at least in my opinion these are just what i like for it to run smooth and look absolutely clean so let's get right into it guys uh let's go right into my settings guys so starting off with graphics i keep everything pretty much default i will go over the few things that i do change of course uh we do have an uh, nvidia geforce rtx 2070 super so i'm a little behind the curve guys but my game still absolutely looks phenomenal okay so sharpen i like to put this all the way up to 32 okay this is what makes the game look absolutely clean look how clean the game looks okay that's the biggest thing sharpen to 32 instead of 10 font scales medium cursor scale is small hdr we have off vertical vertical sync i go back and forth i like to have this on uh in some cases i do turn it off depending if i'm in groups and you know the Servers feel a little bit, you know, wobbly and stuff like that, or just, you know, too, too edgy and too jerky or like too much lag or something like that. I like to have VSync on just to kind of help with that. Uh, limited cutscene and lockers are both off. Perpetual lighting, uh, peripheral lighting is on. Brightness, I calibrate this. I go like probably one or two down or one or two up, depending on how I'm feeling for the night. Uh, colorblind off performance. I keep all of this pretty much the same the performance for the uh, dlss i keep balanced okay i like it between both or you could just do performance but i like it to be on balance just for a little bit of quality and i max um I foreground my fps to 166 because i have a 165 refresh rate uh max background fps is eight if you're if you're alt tabbing then it doesn't really matter i mean you could have this up to 30 if you really wanted to but you don't need it if you're gonna be back and forth uh nvidia reflex low latency always have this on guys quality i go into custom Texture I want high instead of max. Uh, anthroscopic, anti, <laughs> uh, anti filtering I like to have at eight. Shadow quality high always. Dynamic shadow, soft shadows both on. And then pretty much everything else is pretty much default. The only thing that I really do change is my anti-aliasing quality. I turn it on low. Otherwise, everything else is default. Okay. Then we hit change, save changes, sound. Now this is for my stream in particular because Diablo 4's gameplay sound is very, very loud in comparison. So even when I turn it down inside of OBS, it still sounds sound. It still sounds very loud in comparison to my voice. So these settings are what I have to kind of mitigate that into where my voice sounds really, really good in coordination with the gameplay, as well as when we went through the story mode, you could hear the uh, cinematics and cutscenes just good so 85 master one music turn that crap off effects at 35 however if you want this higher you can uh and then dialogue and ambient 100 over 75 the rest everything is default guys everything is default all the way through okay i use game chat more than anything else but everything else is the same okay nothing new there gameplay this is where things get shaken up okay you always want to have screen shake effects off combat hit flash have that on okay uh, reduce strobing you could definitely do this if you're uh, like you know you have a, uh, a nausea or something against lights you can definitely turn that on um, always show damage numbers guys you don't need tutorials unless you're a new player uh, advanced tool tips definitely show this one this is going to be the one where when you're in your inventory and you're highlighting something right and then you go to compare with shift right it's going to show you the actual percentage increases that you guys can see there okay so that oops nope nope wrong thing so uh that's what you have down in gameplay turn that advanced tool tip uh information on hug configuration i like it centered some people like it left corner uh item label all this stuff is the exact same i do not mess with this whatsoever and then the highlights if you want certain players to be certain colors you can definitely do that but everything else is the same now down to controls now diablo 4 is a little bit weird in comparison to diablo 3 on my keyboard and mouse although controller is very very easy 
So the main things that I change here, guys, to help you guys out with your settings is these few things. You're gonna come down. We want force move to be space. I know this is evade, but I changed it to my middle mouse button, okay? Force move is mouse, evade is middle mouse button. It's just easier for me. You can change that however you want. Now, the next thing that we add on top of that is we make our spur mount also the same thing as our evade, so that way it's really easy. Next, our whole position is capital. So our caps lock, when we do press this button and we go to strike, it's gonna stop us in our tracks and just allow us to attack. This is very, very important. Everything else, we keep the same, guys. Nothing else changes uh, on mouse and key or controller. So all that stays the exact same. Social, uh, social stuff, all day during the 24 hours, I kept this off because of the issues that came out with console players during the launch of Diablo 4. However, I will turn this back on probably tomorrow after those things kind of get settled out. Otherwise, everything else is the exact default, guys. You don't really need to change all any of this unless you want some kind of customization that just looks cool and then accessibility same thing everything is the exact same nothing really changes here guys so those are my settings and that's how i get diablo 3 to or excuse me diablo 3 diablo 4 to look so so clean i uh, like the video guys if you have enjoyed it comment down below what are your guys settings and maybe this will help you guys out and then make sure to subscribe if you guys are new and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace